perfect that is we are not completed so i started recording guys are you able to see my screen yes sir yes sir okay so we'll see so actually we started with the what is your system configuration diverted it to uh, how to if your system is slower then what to do okay these things and few more points also there but these are the those are the main important points so few more points also there uh, that's we will discuss again later with a small time so it is a 1 hour 40 minutes it is taken uh, again system if system is slow what are the things we can able to take in but we'll see uh, yesterday class first of all so what is your system configuration so you should tell about your cpu your ram your hard disk or ssd and your operating system you can get this information using task manager or ms info 32 dx diag or you can go to press windows button or a start button go to settings system about there you can find uh, your system configuration and you can use a command uh, to in the command system info command okay so you can open the task bar manager in a different ways so right click on task bar you can find task manager all control delete to get a task manager or you can search you can click on the search and type task manager go to run you can type task mgr or in a command from task you can type task mgr so in task manager so to get a cpu information then you can see cpu memory information uh, your day uh, your uh, virtualization is enabled or not Your virtualization is enabled or not what is your cache memory what is your memory what is your hard disk so these are all uh, we can get it available memory also we are getting here okay of course you can get a ip address from here um, so of course i have a graphic card i'll also get checking my graphic so go to task manager go to performance tab there we will find next is ms info 32 there you can find what is your operating system operating system edition version your processor your physical memory and also you can find your hard disk by going to component storage disk there you can find what is your hard disk and partition information pf diag is originally not to check the originally not for checking your system configuration part, but you will get your system configuration using DX DI command. It is a direct text diagnostic tool. So in that one also you can find what is your computer name, date and time, system, operating system and uh, processor memory and a direct text version. Okay, and uh, actually this direct text diagnostic tool is to Check your graphical uh, memory related CC. This is the graphical memory and also graphic card. Also, you can get it. This is you can go to settings. There you can find your system configuration. What is your uh, processor 32 bit, 64 bit, installed RAM, your operating system, operating system version. Also, you will get it. Uh, here we don't get much details, but few details we'll get it using system info dot exe um, kind of. So finally, once you find a, what are the way you find a, your system configuration, put it in one place. What is my system configuration? And already I told why should we know what is the your system configuration? One is of course for entry question. Second one is uh, do not be like a, you know so. If someone is asked a question like uh, what is your system configuration don't say i'm a lenovo user i'm a uh, dell user i'm a inspirian uh, 15 like that kind of stuff don't give that kind of you proper way to, first of all you should know it tell it right so that's why better to know your system configuration. and another hand for installing some application for uh, using certain uh, uh, purposes must know what is your system configuration okay must know your system configuration i want to install some heavy application or some application 
is my system configuration is the is flexible to run this particular application or not so that is important. yeah windows 10 editions are there so windows 10 home editions uh, that is uh, editions explanation is there but we don't go into we are personal topic uh, of after checking system configuration is how to check ip address okay so instead of that i we, i told another question at that part so our system is slow what to do okay this is the continuation from yesterday to today so how to check ip address what is your ip address how to check your ip address how not to check the ip address is also there okay guys the first thing is how to check ip address only we'll see from command prompt ip config here i am open my command prompt using like cmd what is cmd command prompt first command is ip config okay the first way to check the ip address is ip config guys in my pc i have a lot of adapters are there okay some are physical adapters some are a virtual adapters so this is my original adapter which is connected to the wi-fi router so that is my wi-fi adapter adapter name is wi-fi okay built inside my laptop this is my vmware virtual adapters it's also same goes for this one there's also some other uh, uh, virtual kind of adapters only and uh, here um, media disconnected uh, uh, physical adapters also there this is also virtual adapter no 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 this is i, I think it is my physical adapter it is showing some number it is not a correct one uh, this is the virtual adapter so physical lan lan port connection wide connection ethernet that is the my starting ethernet it is showing this is disconnected which is i didn't connect it with any wire the last one it is showing wi-fi that is another important connector which is i connected with the wi-fi so now what is my ip address 192.168.1.29 so i put a command called ip config i put a command ip config IP config displaying mainly three things. One is IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. So what is my IP address and subnet mask and what is my default gateway? Okay. This is your IP address. How to check IP address? Command is IP config. Okay. Sir, what is that IPv6 address? Very good. Uh, above that? This is. Mm, okay. not, uh, yeah. Type of IP versions are there. One is IP V4 and IP V6 versions are there. Okay. So one adapter, only one adapter. Okay, for example, one adapter can have a IP address, IPv4 type of IP address, or IPv6 type of address, or both, both, okay? Can be, both IP addresses can be on your adapter. What is this use of this adapter? What we call it as NIC. It's a Wi-Fi adapter or wired adapter, or virtual adapter. It can have any of the either IPv4 address or IPv6 and both. What is the advantage of the, uh, so, sorry, uh, on the, your NIC. NIC is for connecting to the network, either wirelessly or with wire. Okay. And we generally using IPv4. I got an IP address automatically from my DHCP server, this IPv4 address. And I don't have a, any DHCP server, means I don't have any uh, server for uh, giving IPv6 address to you. 
to my PC. Okay, I got a IPv4 address from my uh, DHCP server. So I got a IP address that is IPv4. I got it. But uh, in my server, I don't have a, a mechanism means the IP to give an IP address like IPv6 address to give IPv6 address to my adapter. That kind of stuff is not there. Some routers are there. Uh, for example, you are using Zio. We are using Zio, so you will get uh, both IPv4 and uh, IPv6. Okay, both IP address you will get it. Okay. And sir, na Cisco, sir, na Cisco router, all the those are the IPs are present or not? IPv4 and IPv6. Yeah, router. Any any generally router act like a DHCP server. So if it is configured for uh, both IPv4 and IPv6 or only IPv4 or only IPv6. So, so, IP not, so, so that sir, so if I consider the IPv4, then you are saying that uh, the DHCP provide the IP. So I I means the DHCP dynamic host configures protocol. But right. sir. If uh, it, it's it's provide automatically IP and default gateway and the summit marks, and these all the all the kinds of information is uh, also provide IPv6 or not? It is uh, only based on your your router. You configure those things like uh, IPv6 address. And in okay. IPv6 also, there is a two, three varieties are there. Okay, so which is from your router. That is what oh. I'm trying to say. It's not from router is also there. From router is there. Like if there is a global unicast address, some uh, private IP address, two addresses. Yes, sir. Getting. You'll get a default gateway. Default gateway is nothing but your router address. Yes, sir. so it's yeah, provide the all the all the, all types of classes. Like A B C D E. Again, you can A B C D E that is belongs to I P V four classes, not I P V six. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, for example, you are using Geo type of router, which is both I P V four I P V six configured. So it is giving your I P address, like a, a global unicast I P address, private I P. And uh, default gateway kind of stuff, DNS and DHCP server address also it will give. And for IP IPv4 uh, I address also you are getting. You will get a IPv4 address and IPv6 IP address you will get. But certain routers don't give IPv6 address. Certain routers will give only IPv4. Depends upon the router and router configuration. This router means in the router part, in the router, DHCP part. Okay, lot of words it will may confuse you. That's why I'm trying to reduce it. Yeah. Now the question is, what is this particular thing? I said uh, you don't get a IP v6 address. Why? Because my router is is only dealing with IP v4 addresses only. No IP v6 addresses. But I'm getting a IP v6 address. How it is possible because it's a link local IPv6. It is a link local IPv6. How it is possible? Um, also, this link local IPv6 not from any DHCP server. It is by itself. It will happen in your adapter. In your adapter. So I will show you that one. Go to ncpa.cpl. So it is a simple. Go to control panel, network connections, network connections part. I will tell you how to come to this one again. So look at here. This is some adapter. Go to details. You can see link local IPv6 adapter. Even you can see here it is. Link local. 
Okay, so how it is uh, uh, there? So we'll show you IPv6 address. This is my IPv4. This is IPv6. Can you see these are a check mark? If check is mark is there, IPv6 is enabled. IPv6 protocol is enabled. Internet protocol version 6 is enabled. That's it. If any DHCP server or a router give a IPv6 address, then it will take it. Or if you want to configure manually, you can configure the IP address. Like uh, so, you can configure your own IPv6 address, their suffix and default gateway and prefer DNS. You can configure manually or you will get it from the DHCP server. Okay. So first important is, is the protocol is enabled means check mark is there or not. You can configure manually like this. You can give IPv6 address, subnet mask, default gateway and prefer DNS. You can give manually or just if you have a certain DHCP services there will give uh, IPv6 addresses from it. You can get it automatically. This is getting automatically. This is manually configured. Okay. Now, I didn't given any IP address, any IPv6 address. I didn't given. Next one is I don't have any uh, DHCP servers is connected to this adapter to give IPv6 address. Okay. So no IPv6 giving type of kind of stuff is not there. I didn't configure. But when you see there is a IP address is showing IPv6 address is showing. Okay. How it is came. How it is came and uh, how we can remove it also will tell. How it is came because whenever this IPv6 protocol is enabled system check your MAC address, your NIC having a MAC address. They have a, every PC means every adapter. Okay, you have a PC computer. You have an adapter to connect. Either it is a Wi-Fi adapter or a wired adapter. It is called a NIC. Okay, it is called a NIC. Whether you are having a Wi-Fi adapter or wired adapter, your mobile phone Wi-Fi, it means it is an adapter. It is called an IC. Each NIC having a MAC address, media access control, the 48 bit represented in 12 hexadecimal number. Okay. So based on your hexadecimal number, based on your MAC address, okay, your PC will create its own IP address called a link local IP address. So who is giving this IP address? Who is giving this? IP address, it is not given by me or not given by some uh, server. This came automatically from our system only based on our based on our adapter MAC address. It's created automatically. So heading is like always FE80 colon colon. So this is a common the remaining thing can be changeable. What is this remaining thing? Remaining thing will be created based on the NIC's MAC address. It's a link local IP address. It means if you don't can you have a 50 computers, you don't want to configure IP address. You don't know how to configure IP address to these 50 pieces. Without IP you can't communicate but you don't know how to configure it or you, you are unable to configure it. But you enable IPv6. If you enable IPv6, you will get a link local IP address. You will get a link local IPv6 address. With this one in the LAN, we can communicate. So you don't require IPv4 address to be configured either manually or a from automatically whatever it is you can use this IP address to communicate within within 
within the land is given by self, PC only or computer only given. Okay. In case I go to IPv6, I disable, I remove this IPv6 fly, then check it. Where is your link local IP address? Same only, right? So this same adapter VMNet one. Where is your link local? IPv6 address. It is gone. Okay. So I enable it. So again it will come. Guys, very simple. Assigning an IP address means you have an adapter. Whether it is wired or wireless adapter, it is. You are having an IP address. Either it is IPv4 address or it is IPv6 address. Which either assigned manually or automatically is assigned either manually means personally a person is assigned an IP address to it or it is assigned automatically automatically means there is a server automatically means there is a server called a DHCP server give IP address to this adapter. Okay. So you may configure your uh, manually IPv4 address or you will give an IP address from DHCP server, whether it is IPv4 or IPv6. Okay. That is first important point. Link local IPv6 address is generated from system only based on an NIC MAC address. It is generated from the system and it is assigned to the adapter as a link locker. Because one adapter can, can have a multiple type of IP addresses for communicating in public, communicate in private, communicate within the LAN. Okay. So multiple type of IPv6 addresses are there. So no problem. Where are we? Clear uh, sir, one system will have one IP address or multiple IP address? Um, one system, minimum one, one IP address. We can okay. have multiple IP address also. Okay. It depends upon system also. It is not depends mm -hmm. upon adapter. For example, I have one system, but I have a multiple adapters. So I can have a multiple IP addresses. Okay, okay, and okay. One adapter also having multiple IP addresses. Look at here. This okay. is one IP address, right? Like this. I will add more uh -huh. to it. IPv4 properties, advanced. So this is already existing IP. I'm adding new IP address, new network. Some IP address. So one this case, we can create. Yeah, not we, we can assign. See it is one PC two IP addresses. But sir, but sir, it if we are if we are manually provide IP, then it's just multiple. But if the system is provide only single IP. Right. It is two IP addresses showing as on a single adapter. It is depends upon us and depends upon how you configure. But in generally, that is your correct. So why it is you said so in generally you got an IP address to your adapter. So that is generally one IP address only, one set of IP address, not uh, multiple IP addresses. Okay. 
So at least we need one IP address to communicate within that network. So we use it like this. But there is no guarantee rule like a one system, one, uh, one IP address or one adapter, one IP address. Uh, there is a no stamping rule. Okay, one adapter, one MAC address is there, but one adapter guarantee stamp like this, only one IP only, that rule is not there. You can add more IP addresses to it. Okay, that is also possible. But generally, we are using per adapter one IP address. That is enough to communicate. Okay, there is a lot of other Sir, if we, have, if we are adding like uh, different, uh, what is the use for that? Like why we'll add new IP address? I, I got your question. So I add a different uh, IP addresses to single adapter. So we can do it. It's not like uh, we should do it. it like for safety, safety purpose? Hmm? Hmm? No, no, no. For what it's purpose? Safety purpose. We can do it, but I will tell one case only. Just one case, example case only. So here it is. Okay. I have a one server, but I have only one adapter. Okay, one, one connection, network connection. And this is different PCs with a different network part. Okay, different logical networking, not physical networking. Uh, to explain deeply also, I don't know how much people know about IP address, logical addressing, physical addressing. Okay. So look at here. Okay. I, I, I connected, not like that, right? So we don't connect like that. So uh, I have a switch. So we need to know, we have to go through the networking part, then only we'll do it. This is a switch. This is one server. This is some other machine. This is another machine. So what happened? If these are should be communicate each other, three are should be communicate each other, they should connect it and they should follow one IP address scheme kind of stuff. It means one logical addressing they have to follow. But problem is occur. That is, this is a different logical addressing. This is logical addressing, different logical addressing. Then I assign two IP addresses here. So for one, one, one logical addressing kind of stuff. This is two. Second logical addressing, both type of addresses assigned to one single adapter. Then what happened? So this communication good from here to here, communication is good. And further, uh, uh, like a, a different type of configurations, we can do it internally. That is also not good idea, but still we can able to. Okay. So, for example, in this one, for two IP addresses, one is 10 dot series, another is 172 dot 16. So this adapter can communicate with both the type of IP address network address. That is enough, guys. You don't many people know really about IP address by this time. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is only for you. It is uh, what is IP address and how to check IP address. The first, first. Uh, that is we all finish. It's already six o'clock. Sir, my question. Sir, one question is there. Tell me, tell me. Sir. Uh, if we use IPv4 IP address and uh, the another uses IPv6, so there is only one use of IPv IPv6. If a, in a single lane, a multiple multiple systems, multiple machines there, then only IPv6 provide the IPs. Only at the time the IPv4 also provide the IPs. All the systems in a lane. Right. See, see, I will correct your question. Okay, so first one is will provide an IP address is uh, either you configure manually means you go to system you put an IP address or there is a DHCP server kind of stuff will give you an IP address okay and your question is one PC configured with IPv4 and another PC is configured with IPv6 or maybe a, a PC is configured with both IPv4 and IPv6 how they will communicate. Okay. 
that uh, how they will communicate. These two will communicate each other because they can able to understand IPv4, IPv4, no problem. And these two can communicate each other because IPv6, IPv6, no problem. But these two are cannot able to communicate each other. Because it's uh, IPv4 and this is IPv6, they don't understand because they should be in first of all, they should uh, understand same language, right? Not different language. Like uh, yeah. IPv4 protocol is different, IPv6 protocol is different, so they don't understand each other. Okay, so sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, so, sir, if in this case, like uh, if any system is having IPv4 address only, just one IP address, and uh, they have to communicate with IPv6, so if they will not be able to communicate. Then we need to assign. Uh, so we, we both are speaking same language, so then we can understand. For example, suddenly, um, a uh, person want to learn some language. Okay, these key can able to understand our uh, our uh, conversation, conversation, or maybe uh, people like like I'm not giving in any example now, so it will confuse you. But I will tell. Okay, for example, guys, this is IPv4, IPv6 mixing community. I told, but see, this is a IPv4 network. This is IPv4 network. Okay, all are IPv4. Or IPv4, IPv6 network it is. And I have another network that is IPv6 network. If you see globally, it is IPv4 only. But if you if you go through this uh, geo, it is IPv4, IPv6. In certain countries like Germany, Japan, pure IPv6. Okay, fast forwarding. Okay, <laughs> fast forwarding countries. Even America also not using complete IPv6. Okay. Now, uh, just as for your question, one network is IPv4, another network is IPv6. The first one is correct. That is, if one PC is purely IPv6, another PC is IPv4, both are connected, but they cannot communicate each other. Okay, IPv6. PC is there and there is a IPv4 PC is there. There are connected, but they cannot communicate. Purely IPv6, purely IPv4 cannot communicate each other. Now, this is one complete network, IPv4 network, complete IPv6 network. And of course, here some mixture is there, but we'll see IPv4 in the main point only. Now what I will do it, I'll put a one converter. That is called a 624 type converter. Okay. So there is a multiple different ways to convert is there. One is a 624. Means IPv6 to IPv6 for converter is there. It is a, like a router. It is a router itself, but in the router we will configure. so. 624, 426 converter is there. So all these we can able to communicate with this one and these are all communicate this one okay, through this route. Not only this, there is a other protocols also there to convert or a com make a communication between 426 and 624. Okay. 624 tunneling mechanism. 64 adapters. Okay, so you know this kind of mechanism came up. So the why it is so uh, like it's a protocol implementation. So are uh, programs you can see from here also. ISA tap, ISA tap, ISA tap adapter is also make a communication between IPv4 to IPv6. This is 624. And uh, this is ISA tap. Okay. 64 adapter and ISA tap adapters. What is the use of these adapters? 
inside your PC. Use it to convert. Like you receive a IPv6, then it will convert into 4. 4 will be converted into 6, kind of stuff. Uh, earlier days, it is compulsory we are used. And now we are not using, I think so. Then you can go to properties. That is a bridge. It is not there on your adapter, but no special adapter is not given for a ISA tap or anything. Golden days we have, now we are not. Still we have, but we are not uh, adding anything we can understand easily. Okay. So this mechanism make an understanding between IPv4 and IPv6. That is required a configuration also. The configuration is also required an adapter. When it is receive a IPv6, then it will make an understanding to structure is different, guys. IPv4 is 32 bit, IPv6 is 128 bit. <laughs> that much of bit difference is there. 32 bit, 128 bit. That much of bit difference is there. And IPv4 is a decimal number, IPv6 is hexadecimal number. XA number it is. Okay. So both are different numbering system, different bit lengths. So these 64 are ISA tab, make it as a similar bit lengths. Like uh, we cannot reduce 128, so we'll increase uh, our 32 bit, uh, this one as a <laughs> present as a IPv6. Okay, doubt clear? Yes, sir. We need a converter. Yeah, like a, you have a charger pin, <laughs> T type connector, Apple phone, some other type connector. What you will use? It? You have a charger with a C type, but you have to connect it to Apple. What you need? You need a pin converter. Right. Similarly, this is also an application or maybe a device mm -hmm. to make them understand. Again, guys, where are we last? I'm ready. Six o'clock. Okay, no problem. Anyway, we are not wasting any time. Generally, I waste a lot of time, but uh, <laughs> we are not wasting time. But if you are clarified, that is very important. IP config space slash all. Other command. So the only two, three things only, guys, I will tell. IP config space slash all. Very big list. See this. What is the command I use? IP config space all. What it will do? It will give a host name. And your adapter. What is my adapter? It is here. It is my adapter. Description means my adapter name. I have a my Wi-Fi adapter. So this is my Wi-Fi adapter name. So Qualcomm is a company name. Ethros is this is the model name. Uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon is there, na? Processor Snapdragon SD. That is manufactured by Qualcomm. Qualcomm Snapdragon, same company. My Wi-Fi adapter is also same company. Okay, Qualcomm Ethros. My wireless adapter. My physical address. What is a physical address? Is nothing but a MAC address. Physical address is but a MAC address. Next. Uh, what is MAC address? What is MAC address? That is also there, right? So uh, people are not asking question. Everybody is silent again. A problem. Very less members. What is a physical address? I said this is a physical address. Meaning is, guys, you have an adapter. Every adapter, every adapter have has a a physical. Sorry, a, every adapter have a MAC address. 
every adapter. You take wired adapter or wireless adapter it is. It has a MAC address. It's a media access connector, which is given by manufacturer of this adapter. You can see this is my Wi-Fi adapter. This Wi-Fi adapter having a physical address. Who is giving this physical address? The manufacturer of the NIC. Who is manufacturer? Qualcomm. So Qualcomm company gave a number on my adapter. It is unique. You cannot change this address. You cannot change the address. It is unique address. And it is, we cannot change the address. Call this one as a physical address or MAC address or hardware address. Guys, MAC address cannot be changeable. It is assigned by the manufacturer of NIC. Manufacturer of C. Next. Guys, understand what is physical address, MAC address? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. IPv4 address. So I'm getting IPv4 address. Concentrate on IPv4 only because this is the common whether you are uh, having a IPv6 uh, assigning a uh, mechanism or not. System is assigned that IP address. So that is link lock IP address. Okay. Uh, yeah. You are getting IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. Next, you are getting DHCP server address, DNS server address, and lease uptime and lease expiry. Okay, if you see the last time we seen an IP address, it is this is your adapter, Wi Fi adapter. Where is physical address? Where is a description? And of course, you are getting IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. Where is DNS server address? Where is DNS server address? Where is DHCP server address? Where is lease obtained? Lease expiry. So that is information is not showing here. Why? Because the command is IP config. It is a only IP config command. Like it here. It's so only IP config command. Only IP app. Sir, I think. Yeah, tell me. I think, sir, it's enough. It's not going on our hand anymore. You, you are asking like, uh, enough today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> like uh, two to three hours. Yes, sir. I got it. So the last point I said IP config. I will tell one very simple way. So just five, 10 minutes I will complete. So IP config. If you put a command IP config, you will know your adapter IP address. Okay. So you will get to know what is your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway only. But if you use IP config space slash all, you'll get to know what is your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway plus your adapter description, your physical address means your uh, MAC address. It is telling yes means DHCP enabled yes means you got IP address automatically that IP address automatically from DHCP server and you are getting additional information like a DHCP server address who is giving this IP address DHCP server address and DNS server address also you got it. And also it is showing lease obtained and lease expiry information also it is showing it means so when you got this IP address when it will be expired. Very simple way to get. Okay. And uh, one more detail I will show you that is my VMNet1 adapter. 
So can you see this is the PMNet one adapter description, PMNet one MAC address, DHCP enabled? No. Earlier I showed yes. For this adapter, it is no. No means it is manually configured IP address. The IP address is configured manually. Of course, I added two IP addresses, but it is a manually configured IP address. So IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server address. DHCP V6 is showing, not a, our regular DHCP address. Not showing as- So for every- uh... For every uh, IP address which is configured manually, uh, D DHCP will be uh, not enabled. Yeah, right. Um, this is an adapter. Enable no means you have an IP address. This IP address I configured manually. Okay. okay. I configured this IP address. Manually. You can see this paper. Use the following IP address. This is a manual IP. So in that cases, it shows PHCP enabled. No. In this adapter, you can see DHCP enabled. Yes. Means I got an uh, I select this option. Obtain IP address automatically means I am telling this to this adapter get an IP address from DHCP server. Get an IP address from DHCP server. Okay. That is obtain IP address automatically. So if, uh, if IP address is this adapter got an IP address from DHCP server. Then it is showing DHCP enabled. Yes, means it is a DHCP client. It got an IP address from DHCP server. Easy to say. IP address is configured by. Okay, so for sorry, if you use, if you use obtain IP address automatically. If you put obtain IP address automatically, means it is a DHCP enabled. Yes. DHCP enable yes means you will get an IP address from DHCP server. You will get it. If DHCP is there, you will get an IP address. Okay. So that is DHCP enable yes means this IP address, you got it from DHCP server. You can see DHCP server address, please obtain, please expiry. Along with your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server address, you are getting DHCP server address. Is at time, is expiry, DHCP enable. This is manually yeah. configured. So if, we, uh, if a DHCP is disabled, where we get the IP address? You have to give manual. For example, you select IPv4. If you select the first option, get IP address. From DHCP, so you select second DHCP enabled. No means you have to configure, means you should know the idea of what is the current network we are using. So, based on that, we have to give so manually we are giving as IP address. Okay, it is DHCP enabled means this IP address is. Manually configured. So very plainly taken, guys. Only three things I will tell. Only three things. First one is this adapter. Details. Simple to understand, guys. Simple. Don't go with the complexity. Complexity, if you go depth, I have to explain depth. If I explain depth, you don't know the relevant things. So then it will confuse you. So first is simple. See the DHCP enabled. Yes, means you got you have an IP address from how you got IP address like this. How this IP address is configured from DHCP server. 
and who is my DHCP server? So this I this device, the my DHCP server IP address is this one. Got it? I got IP address from DHCP server. Okay. Okay. First one. Second. This adapter. Details. This one, this adapter also having an IP address. But DHCP enabled no means IP address is configured manually. Means personally I configured this IP address. It's not the IP address is not came from DHCP server. But also you can see there is no DHCP server address and lease obtained, lease expiry is not showing. It is only showing your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server also we configured. No DHCP server address and no, no lease obtained. So when you see an adapter, when you see IP address, DHCP enabled no. So you can understand IP address is configured manually. Understand second point, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The third one is <laughs> will comes. That is now we'll get really doubts. DSCP enabled yes. As I said, DSCP enabled yes means you got IP address from DHCP server. But if you see here, DHCP enabled yes, but it contains some IP address and uh, a subnet mask but no default gateway no dns server no dhcp server no lease obtained it is expiry see the difference and yes, if you see 169.254 what is that meaning meaning is apipa automatic private ip address Automatic private IP address. Let's look at here. This is the client. This is the client, and the client adapter is connected to network anyway. Okay. This is the DHCP server. What it will do? The client uh, send a request. I want an IP address, and DHCP server give address. The server client the client request DHCP server I want an IP address it's not some simple full mechanism is there I'm telling only two strike points okay it requests I want an IP address and it will give IP address then you have an IP address right that is this example this example this DHCP enabled yes and you got an IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS, DHCP server, lease is obtained, and lease expiry. So this is, you ask a DHCP server, now you got a IP address. Understand that point, guys? Just example. I have an adapter. Okay, so. I, I try to get a IP address from DHCP server. I, I failed. I unable to get a IP address from DHCP server. Or no DHCP server is there. DHCP server is not there. Or it is down. Means DHCP server is not working. DHCP server is not working. Or I unable to reach the DHCP server. Okay, maybe it is disconnected or it is not working, or it is not at all there. So what happened? System assign an IP address to our NIC. To our adapter, for our adapter, system assign an IP address in the series of 169.254. Means first two are same. This is two are same, but this is can be changeable. Okay, this can be different. 169.254. That's it. 
Okay, so when you see any adapter, so where is it? Uh, uh, Stu. When you see DHCP enable yes, and you have seen a, an IP address like this. Okay, do not worry. It is showing IPv6 address, which is I configured personally. Manually, I configured it. Okay, when you see IPv4 address, auto configure IPv4 address, this is called a error. Okay, this is called a error. There is a problem. Uh, of course, for me, no problem. That's not a real line adapter, it is a virtual adapter. That to VMware virtual adapter, it is used for different purpose, not for a direct communication or internet purpose, we are not using it. Guys, look at here. When you see a, an IP address, DHCP enable S, yes, and uh, first to like see 169.54, you are seeing, meaning is, Meaning is, you got a API power. You got a API power. Meaning is, you got a error. You got a problem. Open a, your system. You open your adapter. DHCP enable S, yes, and you are seeing this kind of IP address 169.254. It means it is an error. It is a problem. Then you have to do certain troubleshooting things. So make sure that. Your DHCP no. is available. DHCP service is available. DHCP server is getting connected. And then you will get an IP address, proper IP address. Okay. So these are three things. How to check an IP address? First one is how to check IP address, IP config, and IP config all. IP config will give you only IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. IP config all will give you your uh, description, host name, description of your adapter. What is your adapter? Description means the um, adapter details and your adapter name you are getting, right? So this is adapter description, your MAC address, DHCP enabled, yes or no. Yes means you got an IP address from DHCP server. No means it's manually configured. And check the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server address, DHCP server address, lease F10 and lease expiry is we are getting. That is the difference between IP config and IP config all. Next one is DHCP enable no means this is configured manually. IP address is configured. So And also, you can check the IP address from here, network connections, or go to ncpa.cpl. You can directly it is open. Search. Try to find how to open run. Yes, these are all run commands only, but we are doing in a search. So when you open ncpa.cpl, this window only opens. Okay. So the first one is, this is my original adapter, main Wi-Fi adapter, details, see, DHCP enable yes, means I got IP address from, I mean DHCP client, I got IP address from DHCP server, so I can see my IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS address, DHCP, and these to obtain these expiry. And also I can see my MAC address, and description. So this is my adapter name and this is my MAC address. DHCP enable no means I assigned IP address manually. Okay. I assigned IP address manually. It's a manual IP address. Manually assigned IP address. I didn't get IP address automatically. Next type is this adapter. You can look at this adapter. When you see an adapter, DHCP enable yes means you should get an IP from DHCP server. But if it is showing 169.254, 
this is showing here and you are not getting other details meaning is you got a apipa address automatic private ip address what is the meaning of apipa you got apipa means you are you are not able to get ip address from dhcp server you are unable to get ip address from dhcp server if you are fail to get ip address from dhcp server system itself assign a ip address in the range of apipa range 169.254 something dot something will okay okay so this is the main thing so you can check in your adapter is it a manual adapter or manually you got ip address automatically you got it check your ip address. So this is about your IP address kind, guys. So tomorrow we'll discuss uh, some other. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Thank you. So, sir. Yeah. So Monica said one thing that is. Uh, Uh, a uh, lot of questions I didn't see. So why IP address and gateway ember is similar addresses? Yeah, both are in a same network address, not same address. Okay, so it's the same network address. Okay, to communicate in different uh, network, we need a different IP addresses. Difference means difference is there, right, guys? Uh, for example, look at here. I'm putting a roll numbers just for example. You your batch number is seven. First person is seven at one, seven at two, seven at three, seven at four. Each person identify with a different number, but all are diff identified by batch number. So IP address is also like that. There is a network part and host part is there. Okay, network part and host part. So like batch number is a network part. Host part is a PC number. Just like understanding. Okay. So the network portion is the same. Network part is same. Always maintain. Host can be changeable. One computer, one person to another person. Number changing, right? One number to another number is changing. But all are belongs to same base. means network parts must be same host part can be uh, uh, host will be different both ipv4 ipv6 different formats and that's why there are cannot be communicate with each other it's a right or wrong in generally right in generally uh, ipv4 is a different format and ipv6 is different but don't both are don't understand each other both network network kind of stuff is so we need a converter like IPv4 to V6 or V6 to V4. Converter is required if in case we are using. Okay. And on the other hand, one complete network is IPv4 network and another complete is IPv6 network. In that case is also we need an intermediate system which can make understand of IPv4 and IPv6. Yeah, definitely because of there are different formats. And that V4 is older. Yes, sir. 